We've got some breaking news here. Bitcoin has surpassed $20,000 for the first time. Another milestone on what's been an eye-popping rally for the controversial digital asset uh, this year. The world's largest cryptocurrency rose as much as 3.8% to $20,154 on Wednesday, vindicating forecasts that were scoffed at months ago, including from yours truly. I thought it was too volatile and leading to even possibly a higher prognosis. Bitcoin has almost tripled this year. So it finally did it. Finally did it. Crossed 20,000. All right, to Ghana now. Ghana's economy has slipped into a recession. The world's uh, second largest cocoa producer contracted for a second straight quarter in the three months through September, even as the government eased restrictions imposed to curb the spread of the coronavirus pandemic. Gross domestic product declined by 1.1% in the third quarter from a year earlier. Government statistician Samuel Kobina Anim told recorder, uh, reporters on Wednesday in the capital, Accra, that compares with a contraction of 3.2% in the second quarter. So, what's next for the Ghana, Ghanaian economy and when can we expect a recovery? Joining us live from Accra is Edem Porku, Senior Research Analyst at Apacan Securities. Good afternoon to you, Edem. Thank you so much for joining us. So, uh, two consecutive quarterly contractions. Ghana now slipped into recession. W were you expecting these figures in, in quarter three? Hi, good afternoon. Um, well, uh, a 1.1 percent contraction uh, in Q3 uh, it comes as a surprise uh, to, to, to me. Uh, we were expecting that uh, based on the restrictions being, the COVID-19 restrictions being eased uh, gradually, uh, which resulted in business activity uh, uh, increasing over time, we were expecting that uh, we, we should record a modest growth rate uh, in Q3. So, so a 1.1% contraction uh, actually comes as a surprise. Right. Then, um, high, high frequency data coming from the Bank of Ghana also suggested that uh, uh, growth was, was on a path to recovery, on a faster than expected path to recovery with uh, the composite index of economic activity, uh, which generally uh, tracks uh, economic activity in Ghana on a month on month basis. Uh, also uh, increasing by about 10.5% uh, back in September September of 2020. So, yes, it comes up as a surprise. All right. Thank, thank you for that. I want to uh, talk about your hospitality sector now. You've got the three big sector contributions to GDP. Services is by far and away uh, the leader. Hotels and restaurants contracted by 62% compared with 74.2% in the second quarter. Well, when do you see a recovery, if any, uh, in, uh, in hospitalities and I guess even services as well? Uh, well, with, with also with the 1.1% uh, contraction in the services sector, um, it, it was mainly driven by, by, uh, by the trade subsector, which uh, also uh, contracted by about 7.7%. Uh, now, with the hospitality uh, subsector, it's not really a, a significant contributor to to the the services the services sector. Um, with uh, and trade trade is usually the biggest uh, contributor to to the services sector. So, uh, essentially, if if we are able to uh, pull up trade as we are expecting in uh, in the next quarter in Q4, then uh, the services sector should recover. Okay, fantastic. All right, so you're optimistic on, on trade, and thanks for that. So trade is, a, is the big uh, bulk of, of services there. So I also want to ask you about, uh, about industries. I think we put up, uh, we, we, we can take a look at your, the, the contribution of those sectors. But with respect to industries, same question. I think industries 5.1% uh, contraction in Q3, 5.7% contraction in, in Q2. Uh, for industries, when uh, when do you see when do you see a recovery? Well, from from the from the figures, uh, you notice that uh, it's the mining and querying subsector that has dragged down um, the 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 industry sector to a, a five point one percent contraction um, this quarter. Um, essentially, I think uh, it, it, it all boils down to the the collapse in crude oil prices that we've seen. Uh, Due to due to COVID nineteen, which has led to uh, the closure of uh, various industries uh, around the globe. Now, the 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 closure the closure of the the, the collapse in crude oil prices will also mean that um, 
uh, it will discourage uh, investment in, in, in that sector. So essentially, uh, we, we, we shouldn't be seeing a recovery in the industry sector maybe up to somewhere in 2021 because essentially the, the, the mining sector um, is actually a, a, a big contributor to the, to the, to the industry sector. Interesting. Very it's mirrors uh, situations we've seen in other oil producing uh, countries. Okay, I want to ask you about uh, cocoa. I have to ask you about this. Ivory, you and Ivory Coast, so Ivory Coast top cocoa producer, Ghana in second place. You both successfully strong armed U.S. chocolate giant uh, Hershey's into paying the uh, living income differential, the LID, a bonus of four hundred dollars per ton of cocoa, a premium on the top of what you tra what you sell it for, to help lift the incomes of, of poor farmers. How far would that go in improving things for, for them as far as their livelihoods are concerned? Well, as you said, uh, the, the living income differential is, is meant to improve the livelihoods of, uh, of, of the cocoa farmers. So um, strong arms, you say, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, if, 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 the, if the government is able to successfully uh, 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 influence uh, these soft companies to actually pay up uh, in order to improve the livelihoods of, of farmers, I think it will, it will and, and essentially it will go directly to them. So I think it's, it's actually a welcome development uh, for them to actually accept and pay up the LID. Are, are you okay? They've, they've, um, folks have called you an Ivory Coast. You've, they said you set up an, an OPEC for cocoa. Do you agree with that? Is that, is that fair? Considering because this was very impressive what you folks were able to do with, uh, with getting Hershey's to pay this money. Are you the OPEC of cocoa? Do you, do you agree with that? <laughs> well, if, if, if you are producing over two thirds of, of the, the world uh, chocolate, uh, of the world cocoa, you should also. Uh, have some say in, in the value, have some say in the value chain. You also be able to get some value uh, in the value chain. So as to whether it's an, it's, it's an OPEC of cocoa, uh, of, of the cocoa industry, uh, well, that's debatable. Uh, but yes, uh, if you are, you are producing two thirds of the, the, the global cocoa demand, then I think you, you, sh you should be able to have some, some say in the industry. Indeed, indeed. That's fair. That's fair. Again, very, very impressive there. Okay, so I've asked you about services. Uh, I've asked you about industries. What about the overall economy? When can we see, expect a recovery from Ghana's uh, recovery for Ghana's economy? Would it be Q4 this year, or are we looking at uh, 2021? Well, um, I, I'm, I'm expecting that trade trade should uh, to recover fully uh, in Q4. Uh, as tra trading activity uh, increases, uh, it recovers fully in the economy, which would lift the services sector. Um, and then with the agricultural sector also uh, being on the upward path, posting about 8.3% uh, year-on-year growth in Q3, uh, we should see a modest growth uh, in Q4. All right, great. Uh, I've only got about a minute to, to go, Adam. Ghana's central bank has a GDP growth projection of 2% to 2.5%. So will this contraction put that projection at risk for full year 2020? Absolutely. Um, from the figures you are saying, it, it would actually take a miracle to, to achieve the growth projections from the Bank of Ghana. Um, even if we are leaning towards the government's earlier projection of 0.9%, uh, um, statistically it would, it, it would require a growth of about 3% in Q4. Uh, to, 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 to reach that potential. But given the, the growth figures we are seeing over the last three quarters, 4.9% uh, in Q1, 3.2% uh, contraction in Q2, and now a contraction of 1.1%, uh, I think it, it, it will take a miracle to actually uh, be able to hit the Bank of Ghana's projection. All right, uh, I've got 30 seconds. Final question. Bitcoin just crossed $20,000. Are you guys at Apacan Securities interested in Bitcoin at all? Have you, have you taken any positions? Um, not, not currently, not currently. <laughs> All right. Adam Poko, Senior Research Analyst at African Securities, thank you so much for taking us through uh, Ghana's GDP figures and when to expect a recovery. We appreciate your insights.